Welcome everyone to July's monthly musing. This month, our theme is the pillars. But before I get to the pillars, I need to start with love. I have just come from teaching the Dancers Awakening Love Retreat that always happens at the end of the One Dance Tribe events in Kiesle, Germany. And this year, I did the retreat with Leo Ryder and Nadine Yell, who are the Hawaiian um, lineage of Azul. So Azul has three strong lineages. One is to Gabrielle Roth and the work that she birthed through the five rhythms, the possibility that we could even relate to our bodies and to movement in the way that we do in the workshops. She really spearheaded and created, opened that pathway and taught me an enormous amount about embodiment and about using movement as spiritual practice. So Gabrielle and the five rhythms, I taught that for 20 years, by the way. The second lineage is Hawaii. Okay, it's where I was transported uh, and encouraged to come to live. And I did say yes, thank goodness. I said yes. And in Hawaii, I took the next steps in my evolution that led to the birth of a soul. Here, Paulo and I together did this. We met in Hawaii. Hawaii awakened in us certain things. And that lineage is held in this moment through our connection with Leohu and Nadine. And the third one, just to name it so that it's clear and all three are named, is our connection through Prem Baba and the work that we did with him in India and Brazil and the deep study of the transformation that is happening through our humanity. Okay. And it's actually really good that I'm naming him in this moment because he, the pillars, one of the pillars has to do with, with his teaching and with that part of the lineage of Azul, this intersection between the vertical and the horizontal. But before we go there, I'm going to jump back to love because the whole spiral map of Azul has as its center love. And having just come from this experience where I was working with Leohu and Medin together, feeling the weaving of aloha and love, feeling this pathway that Azul holds where we are moving in love, through love, to love. That is our movement. That is our pathway. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we hear that word love, we, we, it, it's a strong word in some moments, okay? So when I say we're moving in love, in our journey, I don't mean that we're always standing in a place of the vibration and the frequency of love. But we can imagine and more and more we are finding those moments in our day-to-day -day experience of life, the in, the way that we're in love as we're living our life, okay? But not always. But these two pillars of vertical and horizontal, they hold a key for us around this statement of the way we are moving in love to love. Okay, love is not the goal, but it is the awakening. It is the, the result of our work. Awakening love is the result of our work. It is what happens over and over again when we hang out in the current of a soul, when we engage in the practice of a soul. We are having moments. Sometimes they're stronger when we have 
a longer retreat, as an example, we really get to have the experience of the awakening of love that happens by being in a longer retreat. Mm -hmm. So we know we are moving to love because that is who we are and it's already here. <laughs> and this is why it's a spiral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we think of moving towards as this thing out there. And there is a directionality to the moving towards, but it also comes right back here. Can you feel that? The moving towards is bringing us back to ourselves with less filter, with less separation. So these Pillars, our first two pillars, we'll say, of vertical and horizontal, have to do with a knowing of ourselves in our vertical connection, which is our spiritual connection, which is the part of us that is source, that is connected both to the ground below and to the sky above. This knowing of ourselves as source. And when we are connected to that vertical, we can rest in that place. We can rest in the knowing that we are source and that we are connected. Yes. And that helps us to be held in a container that knows we are in love. We are moving in a field that is in love. So we have the vertical and we have the horizontal. And what is almost equally important is the relationship between the two. Mm -hmm. So we have the vertical and we have the horizontal. The horizontal is our humanity. It's the, it's the process of going through our humanity in order to awaken. It is the awakening of the human heart. Mm -hmm. This is what is held in our horizontal and it, it can be of great help and grounding and stability okay that's the word that is the headline of the pillars the way that they create stability can you feel for a moment how the vertical and the horizontal create a stability for you right here right here inside of you, a stability for your journey, a knowing that you are moving in and through your humanity in order to awaken your vertical, in order to awaken your knowing and your connection to source. And you are resting in that vertical, that connection is holding you and supporting you while you move through your humanity. The way that they come together in, in the heart creates this centering in our being. For a moment, just close your eyes with me. and feel your heart. Feel this center in your body. Using your minds, the power of your mind and imagination, open a vertical channel in you. Reach down into the ground below. 
and extend through the crown into the sky above. And just feel that vertical channel holding you. Notice for a moment the alignment of your body, your spine. You can almost feel the gravitational pull of the earth holding you here, loving you here, holding you with gravity, calling you towards her through gravity, being held right here. And then extend through the body, upward through the crown, into the sky above, into the source above. You can almost imagine a magnetic pull that source above has that raises, rises the spine towards it so that we are held in this alignment between source below, source within, and source above. One channel, one source, one source. And just taking a moment to feel into this channel. To open this vertical channel. And to take a moment here to receive. your connection that's always here for you. No one and nothing can take that away. It is here. When we give our attention, when we connect our mind and our body together, we establish it with greater clarity. And coming down into your human heart, resting for a moment, bringing your hand towards your heart. Just notice what happens as you bring your physical hand onto your physical heart. What happens in your body? And together, expanding from your heart out into the horizontal out into our humanity, opening that vertical horizontal channel. <laughs> And then slowly bringing the attention back towards the very center of your heart and your hand on your heart. Honor for a moment inside of yourself your human story. The one you are living day to day, moment to moment. Just 
feel yourself held in your humanity, in your divinity. in your soul's journey here. I'm taking a final breath, noticing your belly, letting this land in your body and slowly opening your eyes. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. This is the first two of our eight pillars. vertical and horizontal. Pause and presence. Can we feel the stability of the pause? And the presence. Can we feel the stability of the centered? Yes, we are quite centered in this moment in our heart. More and more we need to center in our own being, in our own body, in our own knowing, in our own discernment of truth centered. Can we feel the stability of expansion? It is happening. If we can allow that energy, if we can allow ourselves to expand, it gets easier. We are in greater alignment. There is a stability. And our two final pillars of space and spaciousness. As we sit together in this moment, can we become aware of all the space around us? Just feel what that does for your body, for your heart. When we have a large quantity of space, there is a quality of spaciousness. And if love had a physicality, it would be spacious. Love is spacious. So let's remember that in our daily dance to cultivate space for ourselves, for each other, for our world. We can bear witness through space. We can bear witness to what is happening in our world, what is falling apart, what is suffering in our world through space. We can bear witness, we can hold what is happening. through space. 
through our capacity to witness with love. When I say in love, we could also say with love. With love. Through love. To love. Thank you for your time and your presence and your participation in this. Have a beautiful day.